Tarriga Brig Viaduct near Fremoy spans the River Blackwater. This viaduct is best known for its starring role in the 1966 World War I film The Blue Max. The movie starred James Mason, George Peppard and Ursula Andress and is best remembered for its dogfight sequences shot here on the Carrigabrig Viaduct where German biplanes and triplanes flew underneath the bridge's main span. After its moment of fame, the Fermoy Viaduct was left idle when the Mallow to Waterford railway line was closed down on the 25th of March 1967. The viaduct was built in 1872 to the design of James Otway. This railway section between Fermoy and Lismore was financed by the Duke of Devonshire. The structure is supported by five elliptical arches. In 1843, a motion was formulated by the Duke of Devonshire and his friends Lord Mountcashel, Sir Richard Musgrave of Turin County Waterford and Mr Briscoe of Clandulan to put steamboats on the River Blackwater. The Blackwater Navigation Committee were asked to prepare a prospectus relating to a clear waterway from Yall to Mallow. The Duke's agent Mr. Curry had strong reservations as to the feasibility of the project, pointing out the various weirs and obstructions along the way. The idea was postponed. Lord Stuart the Deces urged the other nobles to reconsider as he had a promise from towns including Fermoy on monetary support for the venture. This idea was struck out and is now history. The idea of a rail to incorporate Fermoy, Mallow, Cork, Yall, Lismore to Waterford was mooted as an alternative to the waterways. Dublin to Limerick, Limerick to Waterford Many ideas were formulated, such as Fermoy to Cove and Fermoy to Cork, but finance was the drawback. In the end, Fermoy settled for a line to Mallow, with connections to other locations. It was a slow process and eventually the whole project was taken over by the Great Southern Railways. In May 1860, the line to Cork was created by the building of the Kilcomer Viaduct over the Aubeg River, close to the Priory of Bridgetown. The line from Fermoy to Mallow was built by contractor Willem Dargan, cost £100,000. Four trains ran every week with six during the summer months. The railway was to become an important factor in the life of the military in Fermoy and the surrounding areas. Thousands of troops left Fermoy to take part in the fighting on the Western Front. Many injured in that theatre of war returned to Fermoy to recuperate in the military hospital. A line to Glanworth was also opened, and it was to serve Mitchellstown. 
The most important aspect in that era was the opening of the Fermoy to Ross Leo line with the completion of the viaduct here at Carrigerbrick. There were two railway stations in Fermoy up to 1892. The two lines were connected with the building of a bridge over the Dublin Road. The Fermoy to Mitchestown line was opened in March 1891. This line was to continue to Kerr and Cashel, but due to unforeseen circumstances, the project was dropped. There was always a great buzz at Fermoy Station, and many a tear was shed as the emigrant trains to Rosslare carried young and old to the far corners of the world, some never to return. During the Second World War between 1939 and 1945, and for many years afterwards, the export of rabbits, crab apples and blackberries to England was a thriving business for Femoy. The beet season meant extra work at the goods yard. Thompson cakes were transported twice a week to the nearby aerodrome where Johnny O'Keefe of McCurtain Street was the manager of the canteen. Two trucks also transported Guinness, Bass and many other goods to Aridland. Mitchellstown, Glanworth, Kildorry, Kilworth, Ballypurine, and via the mountain barracks into Clahine County Tipperary. The From My Viaduct is set to shine again as part of a walkway that's expected to become one of Ireland's major tourist attractions.